All right, so welcome here. We are looking at drawing the six piece puzzle. So this is going to be a video that will introduce it, uh, show you where to access. So you'll have this document sent to you. You can click on here to then download Fusion 360, go through the processes, have a chat with your teacher, get some codes and off you go. Um, and then we come up to drawing the six piece puzzle. So what we are looking at here is a PDF of effectively what you need to do. You need to draw block, we'll go block one, all the way through to block six, and we'll even look at doing some dimensioning too. So this video will talk about block two. Um, go back to this here, so you'll click on the link, and that'll take you to the video that you're currently watching. Once you're done, take a screenshot, paste it into here, and then the last video will get you to make this orthographic projection of them all. All right, so once you've got that set up, you'll need that document, possibly even printed. I prefer to have it printed. It's in front of me here. I'm going to tee up and draw block two. And you'll need to have Fusion 360 open. So here we are with Fusion 360. Every time we draw, we want to make sure that we have the document saved. So a new design. And we'll save. Now, we're going to call this the six piece puzzle and let's make this zoom out a bit a new project this will be year 9 2022 and let's save that so that is our new project and so everything that you do this year will throw into here so six piece puzzle into year nine 2022 and we'll save all right there we are there now with fusion 360 every time that we draw just to familiarize yourself with across all these things across here sometimes these icons might be a different color if that's the case you're in the wrong area we want to work with solid so it should be blue and every time you draw something for the very first time make it a new component. It's a good habit to get into, especially when you're going to have multiple things on that one page. So component one is going to be, oh, actually we will, we'll draw block one and block two in this video. So it's going to be block one and we're going to click on create sketch. So you can see here, we've got block one highlighted. Now we're going to, all right, so we're getting ready to draw uh, block one. So we've created a new component. Now across here you should have sketch, which I was looking for. If you can't find sketch, then click on create. Click on create sketch and there's three dots there. And let's put it to pin to toolbar. And now it's across here. I prefer it to be the first thing. So it should move to there. There we go. So we click on create sketch. Now this is showing you three different planes. So you can draw it on a front view, draw it on the left or a side view or a top view. Now Remember, we want to be looking at our drawings here. Now, I haven't got a drawing for block one, but at the moment, let's look at drawing from the, let's go back to here, top view. So we're going to finish this sketch, click on sketch, and be drawing it on our top view. Okay, and across here it says top. If you've just clicked create sketch and it's not saying top, finish sketch, Go out of it and do it again. So now that we're here, we want to go across the top. You'll notice all these tools have changed. We want to draw ourselves a rectangle. We just want to start in that center. So it's kind of the datum and click and drag. It doesn't matter how big you can try and draw it. The measurements are coming up. That's fine. Just click. Now for block one, we're going to click on the letter D, which is the dimension tool. So it is there, but we can click the letter D and we click that one side. So our pieces of timber are going to be 42 millimeters by 42 millimeters, and each puzzle piece is a length of 180 millimeters. So if you type in that number and press enter, then it will go to the dimension that you need. Now we've drawn our 2D shape, we want to say finish sketch. Now if I go to that orthographic projection, that sorry, the isometric projection, which is a 3D view, you'll see a flat rectangle there. We now want to go across to extrude, and because it's the only shape on there, it automatically, automatically selects it. We'll click on 42 and enter. And now we've got ourselves that rectangle. Now there's one more thing we want to do. We want to modify this and create a chamfer. So we can minimize that for the moment. And you want to click, if you hold down your shift key, you can then click on all four 
edges. That little dialog box is there. We'll call it two millimeters and enter. Now, we want to do it on that side as well, but we currently can't see it. So we're currently, this is our view of everything. If you click on the picture of a house, it takes you to that top right-hand corner. If we click on that left right-hand corner, we can now see all of those other edges. So we're gonna select, uh, we can do it backwards, I believe. So if we select one, two, actually, actually select it, means it's turned blue, go to modify, chamfer, call it two mil, and we have now drawn the first block. All right, so we've made that a component. I know it's a component because it's listed there. If I click on the eyeball, it actually disappears. And what I actually want to do, select it all and grab it for move. We want to select the entire component when we move it. And I'm just going to grab that and I'm going to drag that, uh, not a hundred, I should make that move one meter was my plan. So I've already moved it. We'll go minus a thousand. So if I do scroll out, I can find it. There it is. It's all the way back there. So that is important because we want to draw all six pieces on this one page. Now we're going to go to create. We're going to select at the top. This is a tree. So you don't want to be selected in block one. We now want to be at the top. Go to create new component. Component two is going to be block two. So now you'll see that's happened there. If I stayed in block one, went to create new component and called this block two, what it actually does in the tree, I've now put block two inside block one. And if I then hide it all, it'll minimize, I can't see where I am. So we don't want to do that. So control Z, have our block one, go back up to the top of the tree, make sure that's selected, create new component. And as we said, we'll call it block two. If I've entered before I click that component, that's fine. Right click, Find rename ah, just double click block two. Enter. Now as we said we want to turn off block one and now we're gonna draw a new sketch and you'll see that if I did have block one select, we're drawing all the way over here, which is great. So turn that off. Now look at your drawing. So we're gonna open up. You can have this set up on the side there. So I might have it set up a little bit, show you what I'm looking at, but then I will look at just moving that piece of paper away. Yeah, it doesn't quite work with the screen that I'm currently using. So this is our block. We know that all of our blocks are 180 wide and they are 42 wide. And I usually will always start drawing mine from a top view. So I'm gonna draw that top rectangle and now there's a cutout. You can see it in an orthographic 3D projection there. And it's another little rectangle taken out. If I look at my dimensions, that rectangle is 21. And the width across and that bottom drawing I can see is 84. So for this drawing, the measurements that I need to know are 180 by 42, 84 by 21, and then I'll do my little chamfers. So we come back to our drawing over here. And we want to capture the position. This is that new position. We're going to be sketching, create sketch, and I'm going to be drawing it from the top as if I'm flying over the top of my cube. So I grab my rectangle tool. Now I can draw myself a tiny rectangle, that's fine. Click on the letter D, drag that out, and call that 180. Dimension, drag that out, and call that 42. Now, if I click on fit, I now get myself a nice tight view of it. I'll say finish sketch, probably even grab that little picture of the house. I'm going to extrude this 42. I'm going to go back to my top view, go to my orthographic 
And there's my top view. And remember for my drawing, I said I want to draw this rectangle, which is going to be 21 in by 84 across. And with this, I'll show you actually, the other number we need to know is 48, but I don't need to draw it perfectly in spot. So what I mean by that, I'm going to sketch on that. Can I get my rectangle? I'm going to draw it all the way over here, too small, in the wrong position. Grab a dimension tool, and we want to be 84 millimeters. And the size there was 21 millimeters. And if we look at our drawing, from the edge across, it's 48. That's how long that distance is there, 48. So I come over here, I select dimension, I grab that corner, and I grab that corner, and I'll type in 48. So that is now in the right spot. If I go to the orthographic picture of a house, and with the extrude tool, I can also subtract. Now I know that this is 42 millimeters, so I don't want to go 42 millimeters higher. I want a minus 42 millimeters. And that's starting to look like the position or the piece of the puzzle that I'm after. So I'll hold down, shift, shift, shift. Oh, I just unclicked. So be careful of that. One, two, three, four. There's my four pieces. Let's see if we can be tricky here and click on five, six, seven, eight. We're going to go up to modify. We're going to go to chamfer, we're going to talk 2 mil, and it's done all of them at once. There we go. And now we're going to say file save. Use a save because we saved it at the very start. And we have now drawn block one and block two.